Quick question, what do you do for a living? <laughs> uh, Pornhub, baby. Man, Capra, what do you do for a living? Like, to get I, a car like this. I do licensing, so I used to do media licensing, and now I do merchandise licensing. Basically, I work with anime studios and video game companies. Yeah. I acquire rights and I sell my own merch. Yeah, that's a very long explanation, but... Yeah, 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 no, that's cool. But, How much someone in that position makes? Uh, probably like at least a mil a year. Yeah. So you're saying you make a mil? Say uh, someone, like someone, that. <laughs> yeah, someone in that position should make around that much if they're doing what they should be doing. Do you have any advice for someone who wants to get in like your type of field? Any steps? Uh, you know, I got into it by chance. So my advice would be, you know, people say you should follow your passion. It's true, but sometimes it's hard to monetize what you're passionate about so that's one route but the other route is follow the money but you also find a way to be creative in that sense and find a way to integrate your passion in it hopefully there's no shortcut in hard work a lot of people try to find a way to navigate through which is easier i don't think there's an easy way you just gotta work hard and work smart what is your morning routine i'm pretty much a night owl so my routine is like a night routine i have no interruptions at night my brain works a lot better at night that makes so much sense yeah it's so quiet i love that man appreciate your time man have a good day we're gonna be asking supercar owners what they do for a living how much they make and if they have any advice yeah we'll just see what we could get out of them and that'll be it for today's video what can i do to afford a car like that it takes time. Time. Yeah, time, discipline, and work, bro. Discipline. What do you do for a living? I flip mobile homes. Mobile homes? Mobile homes, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I fix them and resell them. So is it like your own business? Yeah. So how long have you been doing that for? We'll would say about five years. Five years? Oh, five years, yeah. So five years and you could get this? Yeah. Wow. Probably you, you, you're young. You can even do more, man. Yeah? Yeah, Wow, course. appreciate that. Did you have to have any capital to start a business? or? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you have to have capital. Right. And then you just go from there keep doing it how much uh, would you say like someone in your position makes a year Ooh, like depends, a range bro. like a range Dude. more than half a mil no probably less do you have any advice for younger people who want to like you know start a business or maybe like do exactly what you do the well, steps in my, in my experience you know just discipline surround the good people discipline work and uh, that's it man just, you know just you gotta be in the right track with the right people love that love that thank you man appreciate hey, it for sure what was your name? Miguel. Miguel. Irvin, nice to meet oh, you. I do Airbnb, man. Oh, Airbnb. Airbnb real estate, yeah. How'd you get into that? I used to rent out property, now I do Airbnb. Mm, how much would you say, like, someone in your position makes a year? Uh, I run about 15 properties. I gross about a million dollars. A year? Yeah. Man. Is there, like, a lot of, like, expenses you gotta do? I guess, like, for, like, the furniture and stuff you gotta yeah, do? Yeah, a lot of yeah. expenses. It's pretty expensive sometimes. Does anyone have to, like, have experience doing that? Or do you think someone... No, it's easy. Yeah? It's easy, man. If you use your phone, that's all you need to know how to do. Wow. Do you have any advice for someone who wants to get into the Airbnb space? Rental arbitrage. Mm. Start off with rental arbitrage, then you learn from there. Uh, arbitrage is where you don't own the place, right? You don't own the place. You rent it from someone, get the owner's approval to be able to Airbnb it, and then that's how you start. Wow. And how much does can someone start with to be able to do that? You can start with low as 5000 6000 for a house, yeah. The real estate guy right here. Oh, yeah, wow. I own my own real estate office. Agents, we have over 100. We have offices in Covina, Ranch Cucamonga, Chino Hills, and Lakewood. How much someone in your position makes a year? I should make over three mil this year. Do you have any advice for someone who wants to get into real estate? Like, what are like some steps to Definitely. get in the, their foot in the door at least? Join a team, learn. Don't think about the money first. Think about the future and building blocks. How do you get to there? I have a software engineering background and I worked at Snapchat for six years I'm trying to get into a crypto company now. Oh wow. Interviewing in crypto companies. So you're saying crypto is like the next thing? I'm trying to get into the next wave. Did you go to school for that? Yeah. Yeah. Software engineering. How much would you say someone in your position makes a year? Base salaries probably starts around 100,000. Could get up to 150, depending on the company. If they offer you stocks and bonuses and stuff, mm -hmm. at the end of the year, it could get up to 500,000, 700,000. If what? you're really good at what you do. But. Uh, do you have any advice for anyone who wants to get like into software engineering? Like, what are the steps to get like where you're at? A lot of people hate on college, but it worked out for me. Or get internships before you graduate, so then you get a full-time job before you even graduate, and then after a few years, you'll pay off your college debt and save up for a car. Well, I'm a doctor that puts people to sleep at, at the hospital. How many years did it take you to you know, graduate and stuff? 12 years, after high school. Minimum 12. Why did you get into being a doctor like that? Actually, I, I saw a guy pulling really clean C5, 
Corvette. And I said, oh, I want one of those. When I was a young kid, I asked him, what do you do? He goes, I'm a doctor. I got to get my grades up because I got to drive one of those. That's all it took, right? You just yeah. seen that, that's all it took. That, yeah, well, and, and the byproduct is taking care of people. But the number one reason is the rides. What is like one of the craziest experiences you, you've experienced, you know, being a doctor? People dying on you. It's sad, but it happens, you know? Do you have any advice for someone who wants to become a doctor or anything of that uh, type of field? Just do whatever you like, but make sure what you like actually pays you something. I mean, you can like history, you can like art, but it don't pay money. So just make that your minor. Do the, that's the stuff you do as a hobby on the side. But you gotta like something that pays money, like business. Get into a good business school, medicine, then you're, you're, there's a minimum that you'll make, you see? Of course, there's some, obviously, there's some very rich artists but the majority of artists work at Starbucks. Nothing wrong with that, but if you're gonna go to school four years and pay a lot of money, you better be do something better than serving coffee at Starbucks, you know what I'm saying? Intellectual property. I buy merchandising rights, all the anime and all the 80s cartoons, and we supply to Target, Walmart, Hot Topic, all that kind of stuff. How does one get into that? Connections, to be honest. Yeah, there's no like school or field that you get into. So if I want to get into that right now, you're saying like the best ways to like meet people like you? To meet people who are in the industry. Maybe somebody can get you in. I mean, I've been doing it for about 12 years. 12 years. It's something that's a very small niche field, so you can't really get into it until you know somebody. So. How much can someone in your position make a year? Oh, you can make good money. Yeah? Yeah, you can make anywhere up to 15, 20 million a year. 15, 20 yeah. million? That's the owner? That's the owner. Oh, man. Oh, Don't listen was... to what he says. <laughs> yeah, hey, everybody's blaming you. I pay my taxes. I'm a citizen. Uh, <laughs> what does someone have to make for a living to get a car like this? You gotta work, brother. You gotta work? That's it. Work hard. Work, work hard. It, yeah. What do you do for a living? I'm in the waste industry. Vertec, waste management, oh, trash, man. trash. We recycle trash. Yeah. So you have like your own business or your own company? Yeah, our own company, yeah. So we have a business here in LA. Mm. It's mainly a zero waste company. Recycling trash, taking stuff that people can't do that are labor intense and we separate it. How does one get into that? Uh, we just keep on knocking on doors and eventually one door opens and you gotta see it through. Uh, how much does someone in your position make a year? Uh, well, it depends. It depends what you pay yourself. But I mean, president or something, you can make you know 100 grand, 200 grand, depending on what you want to pay yourself as an owner. Okay. For example, I mean, you can you can have yourself pay right now. Say you say you want to make I want to make 100 grand, right? Mm. Well, that's what your salary turns out to be 100 grand. Mm. So it just depends what industry you're in and what you make. Oh yeah, definitely. Have any advice for like any young entrepreneurs out there? It's gotta work. Nothing happens overnight. Like I said, keep on knocking on doors and just wait for your opportunity and make sure you execute. Leadership development business. Leadership. How did you get into that? Actually, that my actually... godfather brought me into the business. Oh, yeah. But then I built the business from that point forward. Mm. Okay, look for good guys like you, man. Ambitious guys. Yeah. You want to work hard. Thank you, thank you. So did you have like capital when you started? My business didn't need much capital. Yeah, your capital is more mental than anything else. Mm. So it's more the capacity of having the right kind of mindset. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like here, man. You have the right kind of mindset. This will happen for you very soon. That's what you're doing right now, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Thanks a lot. Do you have any advice for like younger entrepreneurs who want to start businesses? Yeah, man. Be a sponge, man. Be a sponge. Like you're doing right now. Be around other people that are successful. Success things happen all the time. So always ask different guys like this. Everybody passionate you Passionate in what you do. Yeah, passionate. that's it. Don't you yeah. passion? Passion and don't quit. Just keep on doing it. Yeah. What about, there's like bumps in the way. There's times when people want to quit. Do you have any advice for that? What yeah, you man. You got to have a bigger dream, man. Bigger dream. You know exactly what you want. Those bumps are supposed to be there for you. You got it? They happen not to you, they happen for you. They find out how serious you really are. So if you're serious about it, you keep going through it. If you're not serious about it, that bump's gonna get you stuck. How did you get into being an electrician? My dad knew the owner of an electrical company years ago, so I started with part, went into the field and started doing work, and then just picked it up. At what age did you start uh, being an electrician? Uh, 20. And you got your license right off the bat? No, maybe about eight or nine years later, I got my license. Do you, do you think it's like necessary to like own a license? If you want to run a company, yes. You can't do big jobs without a license. If you want to do like handyman stuff, yeah, but you're never going to make a ton of money. So you do commercial res yeah, all residential? Commer all commercial. commercial. Yeah. You know, advice for someone who wants to obtain maybe like a license or in your type of any trade? Um, I think, you know, I didn't graduate high school. It's just hard work. So I don't care what business you're in, if you're willing to work hard, when you're young, seven days a week, you know, 10 hours a day and put in the hours, then when you get older, you can have nice stuff. But if you expect it tomorrow, you'll be very disappointed. You know, it takes a lot of years of hard work. Do you spend a lot in marketing? 
No marketing. No marketing? No. All referrals? Yeah, we mainly do work for the same contractors. Oh. You know, same general contractors. How do you uh, get contracts? You just have to bid and bid and bid for sometimes a year to a company, and then they might finally use you and then just overperform and then they'll start using you more. You don't always get the job the first time you bid something. You know, it does take, you know, like anything, takes time. How do you stay competitive? Do you have something different in your company? Well, we always bid competitive, but the companies that use us a lot know that we do a good job and we'll always get it done on time. So I think that helps us get more work. Performance? Yeah, performance. Performance is key because if you fail on something, then they won't use you ever again. Yeah. Yeah, hard work and make sure everyone does their job properly and don't ever complain. Oh, okay. I own a roofing company. Roofing company? Yeah. Oh, wow. A lot of stress. Stress? Yeah, stress pays. Mm. The more stressful your job is, the more money you make. <laughs> I bet, man. How did you get into roofing? Uh, dude, I've always swung a hammer. I dropped out of school when I was 16, did construction, then picked up on roofing. And At what age did you start roofing? I started roofing when I was 16. And I've owned my own business now for 22 years. Yeah. Do you do what, residential or commercial? Residential. Residential. Yeah. I like working with homeowners. They pay their bills. Do you spend a lot of money on marketing or how does that Nope. Work Word of mouth. All my trucks are stickered up and I hang signs on my jobs. Your work speaks for itself. You do good work and we're always busy. At the beginning, were you spending any money on marketing? Very little. You know, I've always hung signs up and had my trucks lettered up so people could see, you know, who's doing the job. I would take 10, 15 cards with me a day, business okay. cards, and I, I wouldn't go home until those were all on someone's door or handed them to Hey, I would go when I first started my business, I'd roof all day. I would go to a farmer's market till 10 o'clock at night, but I set up all kinds of uh, brochures and samples, and my, a roofing booth. But it cost me 60 bucks to go to the street fair, and I made a nice booth. Man, I would pull a night and you 40, 50 leads a night from one of those. What? Yeah, man. What are like the downsides and upsides of being your own boss? The stress is huge. You know, when you got roofs coming off and you see clouds in the skies and you're thinking, oh man, is it gonna rain? You know, you gotta be on top of your business. You know, I like to run a good business, take care of my customers, like I like to be treated on things. How many employees do you have? Four, and I have other crews that come to work for me when we have a lot more work. Yeah, I don't wanna get too big, then it gets out of control, then you're married to your job, you can't do nothing, can't enjoy your money. Does one job usually take? Just all depends. Houses, two to three days, uh, apartment complexes. Sometimes you get those big enough last a couple weeks. Our average job typically average, you know, per cost. Uh, basic three bedroom house, tear off a roof, 15,000. Do you have any advice for anyone who wants to get into any trade? Start your own business. It's nice own your own business. Call the shots and do what you want to do when you want to do it. Especially if you're young, man. If you want to start a business, just go for it. What do you got to risk? You know what I mean? Exactly. You know, you, there's so much business out there to be had.